Hey, it's Wake Angel 2001 again. I got another package today. I honestly don't know what's in here because it feels kind of big but also pretty flat. So we're going to find out together. Um, also, I still don't have a mustache. And I think I might keep this look up because some of my coworkers said I look better this way. What do you think? Do I look better without a mustache? I mean, uh... I mean, the reason I kept it was to keep down the maintenance of my face because uh, I could put a few more days between shaving. It's one of those. But, you know, if, uh, if it really does make me look better, then maybe I'll be willing to invest more time. Okay, ooh, there's a letter with this one. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so I have a little uh, Ziploc bag with an, an SBO figure and what looks like parts of a Tails with an Amy head. It looks like they tried to customize it but gave up halfway. So there's a letter in there. So let's, let's see this letter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly read it to myself just in case there's something proprietary on there that they don't want shared. Let's see. Hey, Wake Angel, thanks for letting me commission you to make Alice the Fox. I know in our emails we said the best figure would be an Amy Rose figure. However, due to them being crazy expensive, I do have a second option. You see, I did happen to have Amy's head from way back, but her body broke, and a younger me decided not to keep it. Um, upside down face emoji. <laughs> um... Though I, yeah, like a hand-drawn emoji, that's, that, that's where language is today. Though I do feel like it'll still work. As for the body, I have this Tails figure I got at a flea market for a quarter. You can kind of see why, but for dis full disclosure, the previous owner had completely customized them, and it was pretty bad. I did manage to clean them. However, due to me being scared to break him, I couldn't get some of, some of the creases. Yeah, it looks like it looks like whoever tried to customize this guy, like um, they used a they they probably use an exacto knife, a, maybe a Dremel, but the Dremel head didn't have a fine enough grit, so it just kind of violently ablated some of the plastic off because it does look pretty rough. Nothing I can't fix, of course, and um, hmm. This tails is the one with the with the good holding thing hands. Hold on a second. Ah! <laughs> Paintbrush spear. This would like if I made that three D printed wisp on again. I think these hands would be good for holding it. All right, but yeah, it's it's the tails that has the um, the thigh and the the knee and elbow swivels. It's a good tails. Maybe I shouldn't mess around with it right now, because I'm in front of camera. I need to make sure that the joints are all intact before I go forcing them anywhere. Da -da -da. I'm going to flea market for a quarter. Clean them. Couldn't get out some of the creases. That's fine. I do think he'll kind of work, and if not, at least I can get the tail and ears for Alice. I also included an SPL figure, because I think he can be a third option for the body. Just a heads up, this his neck peg is turning a slight white color. Ah, yes, good old-fashioned uh, friction-induced plastic stress. He is holding Tails' muzzle in his hand. That's kind of morbid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this SBO figure actually is still pretty good. Yeah, there's, there's nothing inherently wrong with this SBO figure. Except, of course, for the fact where Jazzwares used the same parts to make his forearms that they used to make his shins, giving him overly long monkey arms. But, you know, that's the only flaw that the SPO figure had. Um, I also had a custom white skirt, which goes between the waist peg. Oh, that that's what that is. Hold on. Yes basically a, a circle of plastic with some pinches made yeah I could I could use a hole punch to make a hole in the middle big enough for the waist peg to go through that'll work uh, let's see 
Anyway though, thanks again for letting me commission you to make my OC, hopefully everything will work out, and I wish you the best of luck. Sincerely, Mr. Galaxy. P.S. Alice actually had a bow in the back of her head. If you'd like, I can send more pics. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, Mr. Galaxy, you know, I will write the date that this came so that I can keep it... It arrived here on May 21st, so let's just put that in. May 21. Alright, so now I have your package dated. And since everything is in this convenient little sandwich bag, I can just put it in my pile in this little bag. And I won't have to worry about this big old utility envelope taking up more space. Alright, so when I'm making his OC, Alice, um, I'm assuming Fox, because Fox body, then um, all's good. Alright, um, I haven't actually made any progress on anything else since yesterday. I mean, I did start painting Rouge's bomb, but it just has a basic white coat on. I haven't actually put any of the decorative elements yet, so... Yeah, I got, I got nothing to showcase. Although I did wear my Tangle and Whisper shirt to work today, and people did like it, so, you know, take that as a win. Alright, so, thank you all for watching this unboxing video, and, or, unenveloping video, because envelope. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll catch you next time. Uh, hopefully the Rouge the Bat video should be up tomorrow, because all I have to do is paint that little bomb. So, uh, yeah, see you around.